Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to snap Windows. Let's get started. So here is a constant question that I get from my students and that's how can I basically go split screen on my monitor? And so if I open up Word and I open up Excel, and I'll just open up blank documents on each of these and you'll see here I'll bring over Excel. This is what my students will do, okay, and it kind of takes some time. They'll go, okay, I want to split my screen, so I'll go over here. Okay, I'll resize this. Okay, this one too. <clears throat> and you guys get the point. This takes a bunch of time. Basically, there we go. Now we're about at split screen. There's still some stuff in the background. If you have like a web page back here, you might accidentally click on it. Basically, that's not efficient at all. So what we're going to do is instead, I'm going to teach you how to snap windows around your computer screen. So right here, um, I have my uh, windows uh, window open for Microsoft Word and let's say I want uh, to just work with Word right now okay cool thing about Windows is uh, you can actually snap things around quite easily let's say that I have Word right here I'm clicked inside Word it's my active window I could tell this because it is lightly shaded down here and so I want to maximize Word a lot of people just go right up here and click you could do that that will maximize it and that will restore it down or you could press the Windows key on your keyboard and hold it Okay, the same Windows key that opens up your start menu, okay? But if you go right here and you hold the Windows key and you press the up arrow, it's going to maximize your screen, okay? Alternatively, you could hold the Windows key and press the down arrow, <clears throat> and that's going to restore down your window to where it was before. Now, this also works with left and right. If I do a Windows key left, it's going to snap to the left, and then it's going to automatically ask me what I want on the right side. You'll see that Excel's right here. If I click on it, it's going to split screen Excel between left and right. So very, very easy, very, very useful to do. And uh, so we could snap two windows just like that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up Access and I'll also open up PowerPoint. So now we have four windows right here. I'm actually going to show you how to snap four windows at once. Uh, let's say I have Word maximized. If I hold, the, hold down the Windows key, press the left arrow and the up arrow, it's going to snap it in the top left. If I go to PowerPoint, hold down the Windows key, press the left arrow and the down arrow, still holding the Windows key, it's going to snap it in the bottom left. And then it'll ask me where do you want access to go. If I click on it, it's going to default to split screen. And you'll see that it's my active window. And if I press the Windows key and up, you'll see that it snaps it to the top right. And then it asks me, oh, well, you want in the bottom right? Well, I want Excel. Okay, so that's how we snap four windows on our screen at once. And so once we do this, we basically have four applications going at the same time, and I can see all the parts of the screen. This works really well with uh, large monitors. On something like a small laptop screen, you probably wouldn't want to do uh, four snapped windows at once. Okay, uh, a cool trick as well is, um, let me move my picture out of the way here. In the bottom right, you see my mouse down here in the bottom right, at the very bottom right of your screen, there's this little tiny button just to the left of like the message notification area, or sorry, just to the right of it. It's very, very small, you can barely see it, but look where my mouse is at in the bottom right. If you click that, that minimizes everything that you have open at once. So that's just gonna automatically minimize everything. Again, that's right down here, just to the bottom right. So uh, again, I can do that. Let's say I have uh, Word and Excel right here and I'm switching back and forth between the two you guys may be wondering how I'm doing that without my mouse I'm doing that by pressing alt on my keyboard and tab so alt and tab so I hold down alt press tab release your mouse alt tab release your mouse you could actually hold down alt and tab and continue pressing tab to go to different applications so again I'm holding alt the whole time so I could release on PowerPoint and then release alt and it's going to open up PowerPoint and then I can maximize it with Windows key up arrow and there we go there's Windows key up arrow to maximize so uh, these are kind of all the little tricks that uh, make it so that I can switch screens really fast on my computer and I could switch applications really quickly or I can move things to the left or to the right and you could actually notice uh, as I snap this to the left it popped up with all my different applications I could actually use the arrow keys here 
to kind of choose the different applications that I'm interested in. Let's say I want Excel to be on that right side. I get to Excel. You can see with the white border, I press Enter and it's going to pop up with Excel on the right side. So plenty of tips and tricks in this uh, video here. Hopefully you were able to keep up, uh, but if not, that's why uh, it's on video. You could go back and check it out again. Um, if you have any questions about what I did here or any questions about Windows 10 in general, please put it in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful for you. So if it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.